What's up guys? Bill here from Evil Olive. It's uh, Sunday, July 8th, and it is humid. It uh, poured rain earlier, so I knew I wasn't going to be able to get much done at the haunt. So I decided to start working on our ambulance here, which is a fully functional 1996, I believe, uh, Chevy 3500. Uh, they call this the big box for a reason. They don't make too many of these anymore, at least in the Nashville area here, because they're it's so wide, um, but we picked this up as a salvage because of this little bit of damage here. Uh, for that reason, it's added a body shop for a year, and uh, we were able to grab it. Thing runs and drives, came fully stocked. Just got done pulling the decals off it. Um, those, uh, the blue star of life there is, the other side was a, quite a pain to get off, so I'm just going to put some stickers over it. But just wanted to give you guys a quick little tour here. Show you what all we got uh, inside. Came with a stretcher. This focuses. Got a stretcher. It's almost like a little mini office. Um, we got two options for this. It's either going to be our little mobile office. We're definitely going to use it uh, for driving around uh, for advertisement. And uh, we're also thinking of maybe having this be our photo op. Maybe decking the inside out and letting people get inside and take some pictures or something. But uh, she runs, she drives, all the lights work, siren works, loudspeaker works. So I just wanted to do a full shot here of what it looks like before. I'm trying to do the same with some pictures in the meantime. But do a full... Uh, full view before I paint it and put the stickers on and then afterwards give you a quick shot inside here too it's uh it's legit more buttons and switches than I can hit at one time really and I've tried trust me all these little compartments open up even comes with a little uh, back brace stretcher. Little drawers open up. Ambulances, they're, they're pretty nice, guys, I gotta say. But, uh, alright, well, I'm gonna get going on masking this off, get some paint and some stickers on here, we'll see how she turns out. Stay with us. And here we go, guys. We're all done. Uh, oddly enough, I had bought the uh, 96 cent can spray paint from Walmart. The generic stuff is a base coat for the stripe because I knew I was going to go through a lot and I was going to top coat it with Krylon or Rust-Oleum and uh, ended up getting Krylon, but it did not, uh, didn't even out well. Um, so I just ended up going over everything again, which I only started with one side, thankfully, but I went over everything with just the 96 cent spray paint and that looked great. Uh, so that's the stripe. Obviously I cut uh, with my vinyl cutter our, our logo up there. We got our address. We got the Facebook logo on there. 2016 is when we established ourselves. I still got to pull the crosses off the back windows there. But got our address on the back. See I got to uh, change the number of the ambulance to 666 just for fun. And uh, really liking the way it came out. All the way around the hood, and I put a couple little lines coming down the hood, just brighten the hood up a little bit. So really happy with it. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, the PA system does work, so got some stuff planned for this to do some advertising, Blues Brothers style. But that's it. Super happy. Ended up going through... Two, three, four, seven cans of spray paint, uh, totaling seven dollars, and then obviously the vinyl. So, came out pretty good. Real excited. Um, hope this uh, maybe even inspires some of you to spruce up some of your utility vehicles for advertising because it's uh, it's going to get us some good attention. All right, guys. Thanks for checking in.